Welcome to the Freeport Connection with Tommy. This video is going to be for all those who want to know the results for, or spoilers for, NXT Superstars and SmackDown and some Dark Match news as well. And I have some India uh, uh, fans that uh, have been uh, pr promoting the Rinka King promotion in their area, and I'd like to give them video pr uh, video credit for their response, uh, for their thank yous and what have you. And if you have any more, I would be proud to give the results, or you can uh, do them by video yourself. And there's a uh, fan out there. Who's wanting to uh, get some uh, views out there, and also from the same area that he is uh, trying to get some uh, comments on his videos as uh, he's doing some type of promo. Uh, to me, he's just a uh, it's, it's got an echo problem in the room that he's do doing his videos in. Okay, on with the show. Of course, uh, after Raw went off the air on Monday, as you seen on Raw, Zack Ryder and Eve Torres made their dinner date for after the show. Eve apparently stood Ryder up, as predicted, uh, and Ryder posted several tweets waiting for her to arrive. He wrote, quote, waiting on at Eve Marie Torres to show up for our date. It's going to be. And then he does a hashtag and then he goes sick. And then he quote quote uh, has another one and says so, so I guess at Eve Marie Torres isn't coming. Hashtag worst night ever. Uh, Eve later then apologized after several hours commenting by saying, so sorry, something came up, promise I'll make it up to you, unquote. Well, the Divas champion, Beth Phoenix, chimed in, back to uh, Zack Ryder, stating, uh, waiting for at E. Marie, Marie Torres for hours, huh? He clearly is hung up on the wrong Diva, unquote. Okay, J.R., this Jim, Jim Ross arrived in Tampa, Florida on Monday to evaluate the WWE developmental talents at FCW. Ross will be in attendance for Thursday's FCW tapings as well. As noted before, John Cena defeated Kane in the dark match main event after Monday's uh, Raw Super Show in Cleveland. Cena announced that rapper Machine Gun Kelly, who was sitting in the, in the crowd, will perform his theme music live at WrestleMania 28 in Miami. Ted DiBiase wrote that he is going in for shoulder shoulder surgery this morning. The injury is an old one as he has been dealing with the pain for the past year. So, that just tells, tells me an idea that he may not make it for WrestleMania after all. Because that will be three areas that he needs uh, time off for. The first is wrist, to hand, wrist or hand injury, and then he's got his leg injury, which is half broke, partial to, partially broke. We'll have you in, in the shoulder broke, shoulder problems, uh, pain issues, and what have you. Well, waiting on news from all that. Okay, former WWE developmental and NXT talent Jacob Novak, who has been missing lately. Well, he spoke to HawkeyeNews.net that a hip injury led him to his departure from the company back in 2011. Novak, who was hoping to be re-signed by WWE, also revealed that he was making $500 per week while in FCW. The following have already been announced for NX, for next week's WWE Raw Super Show as Triple H versus as a Triple H, The Undertaker, and Shawn Michaels all in the ring at the same time. 
And Mark Henry versus John Cena. Match is made. Christian for Christian is scheduled to return on SmackDown as you will listen to his uh, peep show featured uh, uh, from uh, John Laryngitis. That's uh, Laryngitis. You know, I can't speak very much, the type of guy. And you got Theodore Teddy Long. That should be Theodore R. Long, I should say. My mistake there. Former ECW World Heavyweight Champion Mikey Whipwreck announced on Facebook that his wife is expecting a child. So congratulations, Daddy. The official fa Facebook page of the Nationwide Arena has published fo photos from tonight's WWE Superstars match between Justin Gabriel and Hunico and other fans outside the venue. You can visit Facebook dot com there uh, thing is I posted the link myself on my account that's facebook.com backslash Tommy Tom J for the link the official link Smackdown ring announcer Lillian Garcia had a wardrobe malfunction at tonight's Smackdown taping in Columbus Ohio surprise it's not a real wardrobe malfunction Due to the fact that only her shoe broke. And that was her, uh, as she was ma making her ring entrance, the shoe broke. She left it there and untimely, she continued on to the ring to handle the ring announcing for the show. Okay, dark match prior to SmackDown, NXT, and Superstars. Bonus Clay defeated Epico. And your NXT tapings were Uso Brothers defeating Darren Young and Titus O'Neil in tag team action. Alex Riley and Percy Watson versus Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex was teased. And in the match took place, Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex defeated A. Rye and, and Percy Watson. And then there was a backstage segment with Maxine and Caitlin. Derek Bateman and Caitlin defeated Johnny Curtis and Maxine for the main event, and that closed out the NXT tapings. One match was uh, taped for Thursday on WWE.com for superstars. Hunico defeated Justin Gabriel in what was referred to as a great match. And thanks to Richie and Doug for the following WWE SmackDown spoilers from tonight's tapings in Columbus, Ohio. These, it will air March 16th on Sci-Fi Network. SmackDown opened up with the returning Christian for his Peep Show segment. Yeah, you know, Peep Show. His guests are Teddy Long and John Laryngitis, who came out with David Otunga. Christian wants Teddy and Laryngitis to convince him to be to be on their teams. Christian joins Team Laryngitis after Ace promises him a title shot if Team Laryngitis is victorious at WrestleMania. Teddy goes to book Christian in a match tonight, but Laryngitis doesn't approve. The newest member of Team Long is Kofi Kingston and David Otonga is up next. Kofi Kingston then defeated David Otunga with Trouble in Paradise. They had a segment with Daniel Bryan and AJ Lee. Bryan insults what she was wearing and said the mannequin wore the dress better. Uh, AJ with Daniel Bryan again at, ring, at ringside defeated Brie Bella. Okay, AJ with Daniel Bryan. That was a, the Divas match of, of, of the night. Cody Rhodes comes out and cuts a promo about Big Show and their match at WrestleMania 28. Cody then had a, a match with Great Khali and defeated him with a beautiful disaster. Randy Orton comes out and calls out Kane. Kane comes, to, comes out to the stage and shows a video of them wrestling and shaking hands last year. Kane then says that made him sick and weak. Closure will come at WrestleMania. Orton calls Kane to the ring, but he won't come. The match is ma made official for WrestleMania. 
Next match was Big Show squashing Drew McIntyre with the WMD punch. Next match was Mark Henry defeating Yoshitatsu. Wow, he, he actually made it back to SmackDown TV. Chris Jericho comes out and talks some more about CM Punk's father being a drunk. Jericho goes on about how he is the best in the world and Punk is just a wannabe. Jericho tries to get the crowd to chant See him drunk to no avail. Why well, he had been saying that while he was doing his character with the, the Straight Edge Society and, and the Straight Edge Nexus deal. Well, then uh, Ch uh, Jericho had a match with Sheamus and defeated Sheamus by count out after Daniel Bryan came out and attacked Sheamus while he was out, out on the floor. And that ended SmackDown taping. And then your dark match main event was Randy Orton, Sheamus, and Big Show defeating Daniel Bryan, Cody Rose, and Mark Henry in a six-man street fight. Orton RKO'd Henry and got the t got the win for his team. And that was advertised, but it didn't say nothing about a street fight. It just said a six-man match. As usual, sometimes they give the full results and sometimes they don't. Well, okay, well, that's going to end my video. Stay tuned next week. Same Shreveport time, same Shreveport channel.